Just when I think I scrape the bottom of the barrel in terms of reality shows, they uh, they just keep bringing up the new ones. They keep bringing in the newer ones. I tell you, <laughs> I uh, I'm actually drinking a bottle of Grandpa's cough syrup for this one because I might need it. Ah, uh, yeah. This one's going to be an interesting one. Hold on one second. I think I might be... There we go. Sorry if I'm crooked. But, apparently, uh, I'd like to tell... Uh, first, a little history lesson. A little history lesson for you youngsters out there. Back in my day, there used to be this magnificent channel called Music Television, or MTV for short. And what this amazing channel would do is show music videos. It was music accompanied by moving pictures, which told the story that the music was trying to convey. In some, in some cases. Sometimes it was just live concert footage. Other times it was just goofy things thrown at the screen. But it was fun to watch. And MTV had kind of a, a sister station or rival channel called VH1, or Video Hits 1. Don't know why they call it that. But, long story short, if growing up in my, in my uh, era... If you watched VH1, you were a pussy. Because VH1 featured the soft rock, the the softer music, the pop music. MTV was hardcore. We it was all about metal and rap and they had some pop music on there, but it was really for the music fans because that's what it was about. It was music television. Urgh! And of course, I've already talked about how MTV failed on that front by no longer having fucking music videos. And, which is funny because as I'm filming this, last weekend was the MTV Video Music Awards. MTV just had their Video Music Awards to honor the one thing that they don't show! Anyway. Tonight's Reality Sucks we're going to focus on the VH1 side, because it was, I want to say a month ago, as I'm filming this, that they debuted a new show, a new dating show. It's called Dating Naked. Never heard of it. I don't blame you. I never heard of it. Just happened to see a preview of it the one day, and thought, oh, sweet Jesus, this is just a big, piping hot, fresh slice of hell that they've just carved up and made specifically for me. Now, again, I'm just going to go by the, just the name, the title itself. One assumes that Dating Naked, they're going to go on a date and already be naked, because right there, that's that's 60% of the battle fought when you go on a first date. You you immediately think, like, huh, I wonder what that person would look like naked. I wonder if I'll find out tonight. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll throw my sleek, sexy moves on her. She'll be all over me. Mm. Oh, yeah. 
I'll bust out my Volteri voice. <laughs> Here's a tip, guys. Don't bust that voice out until way, way later. Otherwise, they'll just think you're weird. So, yeah, I'm going to watch Dating Naked. Again, I have no idea what it's about. I assume, like the title says, they're going to be naked and dating. But I did hear that somebody on this show actually tried to sue them because she was doing something on the show and they didn't cover up something. And now she's suing because they showed her nudity on television. Even though the stupid bitch was on a show called Dating Naked and she was naked as they filmed it so she knew there might be some screw ups you're basically suing because you're stupid you fucking twat but I found one that's kind of appealing to me because this dating naked involves two people named Greg, which is my name, and Ashley, who is my girlfriend. How could this possibly go wrong? But the uh, the title, Dating Naked, says Greg, a formerly shy accountant turned MMA fighter. So, in other words, he can bust you up and file your taxes at the same time. And Ashley, a free-spirited artist from Denver, Colorado. I wonder how she gets her inspiration. Come to a romantic private island to find a match. All with their clothes off. Presented by VH1. So, yeah, I, I, that, well, it's a private island. That, that answers one of my questions, because, God forbid, I couldn't see them actually taking this shit to public. But, yeah, here we go. Uh, I don't even know what episode this is, but it's Reality Sucks, and we're about to go dating naked. Okay, already I was wrong. This is apparently a bunch of people on an island? I, I don't... But I'll tell you right now, none of these people are attractive. Oh, there's Greg Schmidt. Oh, he quit due to injury, so he's no longer an MMA fighter. So what the fuck are you, dude? Catfit? What? Yes, and dating naked is going to really make that relationship healthy. Hmm. Well, there's Ashley. Well, she already matches my Ashley. She's covered with tattoos. No, she has the, uh, the bull ring nose ring. That, that's stupid. I don't like that. I like nose piercings, but not the ring. Dating naked is a chance to get raw, because clothes are just so, so judgmental. Okay, does this chick get naked? She's not naked. Amy Parfat, Amy Parfat, Parfat. Parf Three 
Oh, so they're not dating each other. Okay. Okay, I, I totally missed that comment. I thought they were actually dating each other, but they're... Now, see, why don't they want to date each other? Oh, they are dating each other. Well, I should just shut the fuck up and watch. Yeah, go get disrobed, you sluts. One. Back up! Dude! Why are they getting naked in the middle of the fucking forest? There could be snakes out there. Dude, she looks anorexic. Don't look down. Don't look down. Oh, he checks women out with the blink method. Dude, don't fucking look at it. basically just said, I don't know if you heard that, she said that he has a small pecker. And apparently this Ashley girl has a bush the size of George. Oh, they got beer, oh no, they got champagne, yeah. And this moron can't open a champagne bottle, but then again, neither could I. That's why I prefer... I could break out the wine bottles. Uh. It's not going to get a swim in it. Dude, you have tattoos! How can you not be into the art world? Oh, now he's going to draw. <laughs> this is going to hurt. Okay. The professional artist just criticized the MMA fighter about his drawing. We can't be professional artists all, you hippie bitch. Draw his, draw his insanely small pecker, as you, you said. Draw his pecker, go ahead. His... So, she basically drew his picture with an eagle head. That's his spirit animal. Oh, God, now she's talking about her family. Oh, Jesus, I know this speech. You're failing, dude. You're failing miserably because... You completely sound stupid. Now they're breaking plates. Apparently they're Greek. Definitely not any major sparks that Greg and I... 
the years of... No. There's no sparks. This is a completely attractive list. Mer no. Quit! Let's go! Leave! Ah, uh, the friendly hug of friendship. Okay, so they do two more dates while they're here with, I guess, two other people. Okay, I, that makes sense, I guess. You don't want to be on a date with somebody that you find repulsive and... I use my floppy wiener and who the fuck is this? Oh my god! Angelica is her name. She looks nice. I feel like I, oh she's one of those people that talks. That she raises her voice after every sentence. And she always has to talk like this because apparently we can't understand her unless she talks like this. And now she's freaking out. And now they're showing a preview for another stupid fucking show. Oh, it's Leanne Rhymes' show! There's an unbelievable amount of talk written about us. Who we really are is a couple in love. Basically, the guy, I guess she left or cheated on for her husband. And he just fucking smashed her head up against the wall. God, she looks ugly. She looks like a drag queen. Can't believe I once found her attractive. And now this poor Greg guy is just standing around. Oh, the producer is saying, get the fuck out there. We're going to get the cattle prod. And now they stand awkwardly at each other. Oh, I'm standing here naked and the man's weenie is showing. Oh! Ugh, Jesus Christ. Okay, this Angelica woman apparently has never seen the penis before. And according to her friends, it's very scary looking. Yeah, they are scary. They're incredibly scary. All women should stay away from them. Angelica's awkwardness was getting in the way of me getting to know her a little bit, but I feel like more time together is obviously only going to help that situation. So you feel, you feel like you're going on a date now? It's, it's not going to help, dude. Don't do this? Yeah. Alright, let's get weird. Let's get weird. Well, they're on a boat. They'll probably end up on Gilligan's Island. Now let's see how anorexic artist is doing. I like her tattoos, though. And notice how the dudes have no problems walking around like they're naked. They have no, they have no cares at all. Alika. Alika. Alika looks pretty sexy. Definitely drinking, but her just drops. He has a cool tattoo on his back. It looks like a an owl. A spiritual teacher and sexual healer. Him and the hippie chick are going to get along fantastic. Are they going to... Oh, they're going surfing naked. Yes. 
It's always good to learn with something bigger. Naked surfing, huh? It could be an Olympic sport. Hey, look at me, I'm riding. Hey. Yeah, that's sexy, all right. You're going to get seaweed caught in your crotch. There's a camera on that board. Yeah, there is. Sand, you fool! There's no connection. Dude, no. I mean, when we could just be on the board, I could build body, press that line, and slightly aroused. But also, thought I was safe. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I felt aroused, but safe. Oh, yes! Yeah. I found his penis on me! Alright, so, they just showed Greg on his date, and he's failing miserably. Because the woman he's dating is not only covered up, but puking over the side of the boat. Meanwhile, Hippie Chick is really winning. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know if this is a competition or not, but... Women can heal the planet. Oh yes, because I'm pretty excited about Alika. <laughs> yeah, he he definitely knows the. Uh, he he knows how to talk to women. All women can heal the world, make it a better place. A helpmate? So let me get this straight. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You're telling me you're on a dating show, but you're not interested in a committed relationship. The fuck are you even doing on here, dude? And now they're just hanging out. And now he's covering his pubes with a pineapple. Oh my gosh. Did it work? What I miss? <laughs> <laughs> I'm jealous. Well, yeah. It was so obvious. She saw your tiny package and let. Oh, and Ashley now decides to get naked. <laughs> She's a pretty girl, this Angelica girl, but. I don't want to. I don't want to get naked because I I see too many willies around. Ew. Um, I don't know. I just I thought it would be a lot easier than it actually was. You know, it's like you know, I think 
think just like meeting Greg for the first time and being gay, like I just like, got so nervous. I mean, I feel like that's the premise of what we're doing then. Like, here we are, this is our body, who cares, we're born this way, you know? I had the same idea in my head. Yeah. I, yeah, I assume that's what yeah. you guys are doing. My nerves took over and like, I physically couldn't. Really? Seeing everyone naked just felt Well, weird. that explains it. These three, the other three that are naked right now, they're from California. She's from Long Island. Sorry. Apparently, East Coasters are more modest. Clothed-minded? What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, get the fuck off the island, you non-slut. Who the hell is this? Oh, Jesus Christ. Nicole Richie has a new show coming out. Jesus Christ. Dude, she has purple hair. God help me all. Okay, apparently, this Greg guy is the third wheel because this Alika and Ashley jumped in the pool and they were having fun and they were talking. And then this Greg guy jumped in and. Fuck it all up! <laughs> Just, just go back to your room and let them fuck. Aww. Oh. I was looking at him being like, hey, like, are you feeling me? Like, I'm feeling you. Go in there. Go in there and fuck. There you go. Now the sexy music is playing. I walked you back to your place, but can we maybe go in? I'm not so sure Ashley needs sexual feeling, but I guess we'll find out. I hope there's condoms in there. I hope that this island has provided them with prophylactics. I'm a little nervous about the Thursday only because last night, Alika and I had sex. You know, he said that he's not ready for consent. Yeah! They even said it, like, we had sex. So who are you meeting now? Damn, he's got a lot of tattoos too. How are you feeling? Yeah, I actually nice to meet you. Good. He's got a lot of tribal work on. And he's also my type. He has a great body. He has tattoos and JR has a really nice ass. Ass. He has a nice ass. Because apparently that's all you need in life is a good ass. My ass sucks, so I'm gonna fail in life. He's from New Jersey. An adventure through the forest while you're naked? What if a monkey bites your penis? I'm feeling for this poor dude. I hope Greg gets a good girl. I really do. Please tell me this poor guy at least gets some. He's wearing flash underwear. Does that not say something? Tess. Hi, Tess. Well, now, see, she seems like she has the same personality, so they might be good together. Tessa. I'm sorry, Tessa. She's from Colorado, too, so. Well, 
Would you like to go on the date with me? Do I have the option to say no? I don't think so. <laughs> Yeah, third time better be a charm, god damn it. Alright, I have a problem. Big problem. They are hiking through the woods, but they are provided shoes, walking sticks, and fucking hats. That is not dating naked, okay? Liars! Liars! Now they're talking tattoos. Nobody gives a shit. If you design your own tattoo, okay? If it looks cool, they're gonna say it looks cool. <laughs> this chick's gonna be conflicted soon because she wants to hang out with this Alika dude, and now this JR guy's coming in. Maybe she can talk, talk him into a threesome. I don't know. Quick sense. <laughs> What? what? Show the other dude! Come on! Fuck this chick! She's a whore! Oh, he can be romantic. What's he gonna do? Yeah, let's go back to this dude, because he... I'm pulling for him. I hope he gets this girl. Oh, wow, that's cool. It's a floating table. I'm sure this shit was set up long before they got there. Oh my god! She talks too much. Look oh yeah, at she talks too much. Just say it. Hey, I forgot my wallet during a dinner. I'm not proud of it. I had to call my mom. Sucked, but I'm not proud of it. Oh, thank God this guy's finally found a woman that is more in tune with him. I'm pulling for you, G! Woo! I just hope she feels the same way. Oh, we're not going to find that out. God damn it. God damn it! Uh-oh! The slut's getting kissed! JR looked at her and said, There's one thing I've wanted to do since the beginning of this date. And he grabbed her head and he's like, <laughs> So now she's going to be conflicted. Oh, hey! A new series! Finally. The Make or Break, the Linda Perry Project. I believe I just said that. Thank you. But there's no music involved. Well, no, no. I will give VH1 a little bit of credit. Their shows are at least somewhat musically connected. Oh, yeah. Because now the slut has been making out with this guy and had sex with this guy, and now it's going to be awkward. I definitely feel that Ashley's connection with JR is stronger at the moment. I did feel a little bit like old news, but I'm not the type of guy that wants to like... Hey, you don't want a relationship, asshole.
So you have no reason to be jealous. So I'm really glad you guys consented because I think it's cool. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Now, Greg, this is going to be an easy choice because he only has two to choose. Two. Two to choose from. I'm drunk. Do you? Ah, yeah. Good job. Good job. Give him a hug while you're naked. Yeah, why not? Now let's see if Hippie Slut has a choice. Because now she has to flip a coin. Well, there you go. There you go. JR's your guy. But JR did call somebody a bitch. So what? That's what alcohol does to you. It takes away your chivalry. Commercial! Commercial. I called it. Did I not call it? Because anytime there's a big decision making. What the fuck is it? Love and hip hop. Uh. I just say it. I hate hip hop. I hate rap. I hate it all. It's all the same. I can write it. I can write a rap song right now. It's uh yeah uh yeah uh yeah. There, wrote a, wrote a rap song. Oh, happy, happy bitch is gonna choose. Who's gonna choose? No commitment issues. I'm at it. It was destiny for us to be here and meet each other and have a deep spiritual connection. So, so what happens to poor JR? Does he get the host? Congratulations to our two couples. I wish you guys all the best to explore the new connection. So go enjoy your final day in paradise. Go enjoy, yes. And enjoy. apparently you still have to... Be without and what's poor JR doing? Poor JR's just standing there. This experience definitely exceeded my expectations. He's gonna go wank off or something, I guess. Is that is that the whole point of this experiment? The fuck? What? Greg and Tess have been dating long distance and are still going strong. Nice! Good, good, good. What about Ashley and Alika are getting married? Their naked wedding special is September 18th on VH1. Bullshit! Bull fucking shit! Now I got my hat back on. Um. Closing thoughts on dating naked. Uh, it's it's your typical dating show. Again, I I went into this not knowing anything about it. It's I I honestly thought that these two guys were going to be dating the entire show, but instead they're getting, like, three different people. So, what do I think? What do I think? 
Would I watch it again? No. Is it terribly offensive? No, not really. Because I can see where they're coming from. That, you know, you see somebody naked right when you first date them. Right there, like I said, most of the the mystery is gone. And you don't really have any kind of... You... I'm trying to think of a, of a word. Uh, it's like, well, it's like they said on there. When you approach somebody naked on a date, like, this is who I am, you know? there There's no mystery behind it. This is who I am. This is what I've got. And it definitely saves the time of seeing, like, going through this relationship, this courtship, and then actually see them naked and start laughing at them. But of course, uh, the the hippie chick, she, uh, she said the dude's package was really small. <laughs> that's, that's bad. That's terrible. How could you say that? But, you know what? It, I would rank this up with total, total divas. It's, it's okay. It didn't piss me off. There were some entertaining moments, sure. But I could see where this show could get really, really bad. Like, really stupid. And really just missing the whole point. Because you know there's going to be guys out there that are going to be... Just all about the titties and ass. And, in fact, I think they even showed the the one clip for the next time where the guy's like, holy shit, it looks like she's smuggling cantaloupes in her chest. You know, you know you're going to have guys that are trying to, going to try and get on there just to get a one-night stand, see women naked, and that's it. So, would I call this a what I call it a respectable uh, stable relationship building dating show absolutely not in fact none of the dating shows out there I would call stable relationship building shows because again you're doing it in front of a camera you're doing it in front of millions of people you're gonna put on a front you're gonna do things that aren't your normal criteria and it's it, it, it's it's just not the same you're always going to have if you meet somebody on a TV show you're always going to in the back of your mind you're going to think are they really like this or are they just putting on a stage for the the camera you know, you, you can't do that. You have to... You have to have honesty. And I've always said that. That the biggest building block in any relationship, whether it's friendship, relationship, whatever, it's trust. And... If I were to meet some girl on a TV show like this, I, I would be skeptical. I really would. It doesn't matter who they are. And I know that it's not... It's probably not real. I know they're actors. But they're portraying themselves as being real people. And this is... There are people out there that will see this show and think, well, that's how it's done. That's how relationships are built. And I think it's sending a bad message to a lot of people. That... You have to strip down naked and go to a, an island in order to find love. You don't have to. The If you take anything from these shows that I do, I always tell people this, and this is pretty much my mantra. Don't ever be afraid to like something. You know? Don't ever be afraid to 
be who you are. If there's anything you ever take away from watching my ramblings, that would be it. If you're this big nerd who likes video games and board games and playing Dungeons and Dragons and role-playing games, you know what? Embrace that. Because somewhere out there is somebody who likes the exact same things you do, and if you ever meet them, you're going to find the best friend you've ever had in your entire life. You know, that, that's basically how it is. It's And if people give you shit about it, you look at them like, look, this makes me happy. This is what I like to do. If you don't like it, fine. You know what? Just don't rain on my parade. That's what I tell people all the time. It's it's pretty much my like the, the way I live my life is I like weird shit. I like I like video games. I like D and D shit. I like fantasy movies. I like going to the Ren Fair. I like I like weird exotic stuff that takes me away from the norm. And you know what? It's just how I like it. And fuck anybody that doesn't think that it's cool or if they think I'm just wasting my time or if I'm immature. You know what? I go to work. I work 40 hours a week. I pay my bills. If I'm allowed to have a little bit of fun in life, that's what I'm going to do. I'm sitting with Icky on my lap. I haven't had this in a while. Because my place is such a zoo now. But it'll probably get up as soon as I go to turn the camera off. But dating naked. Uh, it's not offensive. It's not. It's not a bad show. But don't watch it and think that this is how I need to do it. Or you know, if you watch it strictly for entertainment value, okay, you'll get that. But if you watch it with any amount of seriousness, you'll you'll miss the point. So, so if I had to give a rating on dating naked, it would be yeah, about right there, like middle of the road type rating. It's um, it didn't piss me off. But it's not something I'd ever watch again. That's, that's it. So, I am, I'm buzzed right now. This is, uh, I gotta stop drinking while I watch this show. I, I, I don't know if I made any sense in the past two hours I've been on. Anyway, there are plenty of more shows out there for me to heckle, and I will do that whenever I feel like I can do that. So, until next time, I am GMC, and there went Icky, and as I always say, reality sucks.